Welcome back to the shop this week, you guys. This is going to be the second installment of our Scythian bow build. Uh, this is where we glue all of our components together. Uh, if you paid attention or watched my Asian-inspired re recurved bow, uh, you saw there were a lot of tribulations involved in getting a good glue up. Uh, while it turned out great, uh, learned a few lessons while uh, constructing this particular bow. And this week we're going to embark on getting our parts glued up. But in this instance, had some much better processes in place to make sure that everything went together incredibly well. Uh, you'll notice too that I did not put any induced deflex into these limbs. We're going to allow the working limbs to develop their shape organically. Uh, through the tillering process. So guys, stick with me. I'll show you how to get this glued up the right way. Uh, going to glue in the recurved tip wedges first. So we're this is going to be a separate glue operation from the rest of the, the glue up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just glue these into place on the backing strip. We'll do it in our uh, recurved molds so that we know we're going to get a consistent recurve on both ends and call that our backing piece as, as one integral piece and then glue the remainder together in a, in a separate operation. Here are all the parts uh, put into the mold and I'm going to glue them up on edge. So everything's gonna glue up just right on the, the um, bench top here. Uh, to help smooth the way for things, I mean, this this particular piece here is just a piece of masonite that's going to help bend bend over the top of our hackberry wedge uh, and put it to our bamboo backing. But what I've done here is I've I've sorted out just how much space I need to have to accomplish that operation, and then taped in the spacers required to get it to get a good fit. Uh, so from here, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and glue this up with EA40. Uh, you'll notice that I got a piece of tape here that's labeled, but it is set such that where the, the end of this wedge resides is where the tape is so that we get very minimal spillover on the glue up. I'm only doing just enough here to do this one side because I don't want to be in a hurry to have to get to the other. Temperature's a little cool out today. It's probably about 65 degrees right now. And of course there's no sunshine shining in to my garage, so. That's not helping the temperature out here much. I'm doing just a real thin coating here. Bamboo side. Really just kind of a little extra measure here, just right through the bend of the recurve to hopefully fill any gaps that may exist in the end. We look to be pretty well coated here. So I'm gonna do and get these guys lined up here on my tape is here to get the tip aligned. So that it kind of stays centered in here. Okay. Got just a little bit. 
bit of a wrap here. Make sure that everything goes all right. completely fold this over such that I'd be able to uh, pull up on it and make sure that it doesn't fall into the glue line at all, which it has not. And then, side. Make sure that we're good. All right, so there you go. All the way out to here. Here's our, the end of our wedge is right in that spot there. All right, guys, here's how we uh, finished up. Got the second side glued up here. There's our first side. And we're just going to allow this to dry now. I'm going to uh, temper the, the belly piece and uh, re-flatten it. I've got uh, a few videos. Actually, I've got a specific video on tempering bamboo. Uh, I'll put a card in right here so you can watch that to see what I'm, I'm doing. So I'm in the garage here early in the morning, uh, explains the light pouring into the garage, so I apologize for that. But I wanted to kind of show a case in point of why it's so important that after you heat your bamboo or temper it in any way, that you go back and take the, the crown off of that glue surface. So I have heated, this is my belly strip. I've heated the belly strip and put it into my recurve mold here and you can see hopefully you can see that it does not appear to be sitting flush right however you can't see through right there's there's no light coming through there so it's not like it's not flat to the mold here's the second half of that equation you got the same phenomenon on the other side so that's the tightest glue line you could expect to get out of that piece of bamboo uh, as it is right now so now now work begins on those recurves but you can see that uh, would not yield a very good glue line and you have to sand that flat again after heat treatment here is my dry run for the glue process on this particular bow. And I am going to let it dry in exactly the shape that you see it in here. So it's got a reflex right through the grip. Working limb is going to be right in here in the finished bow. Uh, the way I'm, I'm purposefully doing this such that I don't have bands all the way through the recurve. And I will just clamp it up like this on each end. Uh, that is to prevent, you know, gapping like I experienced in my, uh, in my previous glue up, uh, in, with this type of recurve. Uh, so we, I know I'll have real good glue lines right through here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and we'll get this glued up. EA40 is going to be the, the glue. Um, I'm going to, uh, fashion it just as, just the way you see it here and then allow it to uh, glue up and dry. I am super excited about the glue up on this particular blank. Uh, there are no perceivable gaps in my glue lines that I can make out. Uh, 
a completely different experience from my last uh, reflex recurved Asian inspired bow. Uh, this one, this one's money. I did not induce any deflex, right? So hopefully the intention anyway here is that when it's strung, we're going to experience most of the working limb right in here. So it's going to kind of jut out working right here into the recurve and give a good uh, profile of a Scythian bow. That's kind of the intention here. I'm not sure if that's what's actually going to be yielded uh, from this glue up, but I've got everything stacked in that favor. All right, so uh, this is pretty much it as far as the uh, construction and, and glue up of this project. Thank you guys for joining me this week, and we will get on with bringing this bow to fruition next week. I will see you then.